Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to another video in the Ocean Motion Reef build. I'm just showing the WP25 uh, JBO powerhead and a bunch of other equipment. There's been a lot of reviews on YouTube on this particular powerhead, so I'll let you check those out. But I'm very happy with it so far. It's got a lot of controllability, uh, but time will tell to see if it holds up. All right, so let's go down in the stand and look what we've got going on. I'm really happy with how it turned out in the upper right hand corner. I made a control panel to put everything on. The sump I painted white um, on the outside, you know, outside on the bottom, and the inside of the stand I painted white. So for the control panel on the upper right hand side, you can see here, I wanted to mount all the uh, controllers for the different pieces of equipment and the power strips. So I'm very happy with it because, as you can see here, I can remove it. So if I need to add or take anything away, and then all the cords sit nicely behind it, so it's a nice clean look. I have a blue power strip here. Turn it on. It looks really washed out, so, but it's neat in person. Okay, so you got a gate valve there and a one-inch drain past this CPEX ball valve down into the sump, into a filter sock. The return is half inch and for the return I'm using a uh, DC pump it's a Reef Octopus Diablo DC 3500 variable speed pump it's super quiet a very nice pump I'm very impressed it's rather large but um, it fits <laughs> and here's the controller for it you can adjust the speed with a plus and minus button and then you got a feed mode button that shuts it off for 10 minutes and automatically turns it on all right, so from the return pump, it goes past this swing valve or check valve up to 45s and past a, um, a ball valve there and into the overflow. I also have this T there, so when I want to do a quick water change, I can just uh, turn some valves and just siphon out via the return um, flare nozzle, um, you know, whatever I want to. All right, this is the skimmer. Um, it's a PLS 150 conic skimmer by um, Cadlites Aquariums. It's um, pretty large. Uh, there's the auto top off. It's by Auto Aqua, and it comes with everything you need. So that's kind of neat. Just goes into a five. I have a five gallon aquarium back there filled with, um, you know, RODI water, and so it's a censored uh, auto top off. So you know, I like that better than the float switches. But anyways, back to the uh, the rest of the sump equipment. You got the temperature probe back there, backup temperature gauge. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all the pieces of equipment. Um, you can see the LED controller there on the right-hand side as well. Uh, so I think it looks pretty clean. Um, no problems, no leaks when I plumbed it. I used blue PVC, which was kind of hard to get a hold of, but that's about it. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.